Hello and welcome back to my Let's Play of the Latin Empire of Zars 4 where... Wait, okay. Where you, Azerbaijan's getting trashed by Ukraine now as well. No, oh, it's Koaz. What? Oh well, this is just getting better and better, isn't it? Because they, I hate them, and they're getting trashed. That is brilliant. So anyway, as of the moment, Egypt is pretty much doomed. I am going to get a ton of land, and I mean I will get the ton of land. So November, later, I can go to speed free now I think, as the AI will probably respond to stuff very well and very quickly. Why did you go off done yet? Damn it. AI, why? Anyway, so I'll be moving up. And I'll be engaging their entire fleet, which is as of the moment. Let's have a look. 4, 15, 7, and 31 compared to 20, 0, 36, 40. I will likely take losses because they do have an admiral as well, but my heavy ships should utterly decimate them. Let's see how this goes. The ones that are engaging are my heavies up here, versus a lot of... They have a higher combat width, that's quite bad for me. I have just lost a few ships. Quite a few heavy ships have just died. I haven't lost anything else yet. They've lost their heavies, I think. Looks like they're going to lose all of them. Oh boy, there goes another... He's lost all heavies. So that's a severe loss. He's losing most of his galleys now. I've lost half of my heavies, over half of them. He has taken severe losses overall though. He's losing all of his combat ships, definitely. And what else is going to occur? You can just engage him down there. Sure, go ahead. And I might lose the naval battle. Yep, I did. I lost most of my heavies. He lost all of them. Apparently a two maneuver admiral is very strong, which is sort of bullshit in my opinion, but okay. Standardization of caliber, so that will increase my ability to do stuff. Chamber demi cannons are very strong. I'll let my fleet recover and then I'm going back out there to try and pummel him some more and I will actually hire an admiral. Because that is a sort of bad loss in my opinion. Might want to get down there, but okay. I'm gonna have to organize the army into a little defensive perimeter here. I do not exactly know. He does have a higher naval width. Wait, uh, English, please. So recall you. The diplomats are free. And what else is there? Well, the Polish are going to go ham on them over here, apparently. Which I have no issues with at all. So, this November, this will be converted. I'm not sure how long it will take to call. Hopefully, it'll be quite quick. As I will be checking, well, finding out now. Will it be quick? It's the right religion. It'll take 29 months, over two years. That's quite bad. The Pauls, yeah, they've just lost a battle there. A relatively large one. And I just realised they have Siege Kahira and I don't get alerts for it. So I could send down 80,000 right now. And you know what I'm going to do? Oh god, what the hell? Get out. Their own rebels are fighting us. I hate that. Get out. That's 48,000 rebels of Egyptian type. I need to get down there. But these rebels are going to be a pain in the ass, I think. So I'm going to deal with them, with the other troops I have. I need to keep the war going for a while longer, see? Oh, 
Alright. Don't really care. Sure. Bring it. So that's pretty much put an end to Egypt. When these guys are repaired, I'm definitely going out. So, are they repaired now? Yes, they are. Let's get out there and challenge him again. So, he has 9, 6, 36. I have four heavies that could help here and more galleys to shield the transports. However, he, I do have an admiral and he isn't running, so he definitely knows he can engage me. Or is comfortable with trying to do so anyway. He's losing ships. Quite a few, in fact, so it must be the heavies, when they got engaged, definitely took a battering. I still have my heavy, I've only lost a galley. He's lost all of his galleys, leaving with just light ships. Ironside, that's a good trait, actually. Well, sort of good, it helps. And I've captured a few transports. Actually, don't siege it up in Alexandria. Not yet. I want to, like, get a little recovery tick in to ensure most of these ships survive. And then, you know, use them against him. So, let's get a recovery tick in there. Yeah, Egypt is going to break quite severely, I think. From this war. So, I need to wait quite a bit of time before I send them the peace. And I can't take any more than that, really. And it's a fairly big chunk as well, which will definitely annoy a few nations. Definitely. But, in all honesty, I can definitely cope with a fair bit of anger. So once this here is called, which will take till April in 19... Uh, what the hell is... Why Andalusia is still fighting them, actually. Okay. Let's help them out here, is it? <laughs> yeah, that Egyptian fleet is not recovering. It's not going to. It just isn't. So, you know, here goes... Oh, Andalusia said, nah, we don't want to be involved. Okay, well, let me just fight them myself then, and sink a few more of their ships. And now they're about to get hammered. Oh wait, it might be that Andalusia pieced them out just then. It's not like Egypt can really do anything at this point. They're, they're crippled. They have a lot of infantry... No, that's their casualties. Most of the troops have just been lost to attrition, haven't they? Yep, most of that is just attri pure attrition. Yeah, Egypt is... that's... I don't even have to help. <laughs> They're just dead. Yeah, I'm not piecing out just yet. Cesare has to be done first. The end of the Egyptian Empire, maybe? Possibly. I mean, Egypt is probably... Let's see, they're at fifth rank right now. Let's see how far they drop after the peace deal. Is it? Maybe they'll drop to 6th or 7th, but who knows. Also, is Andalusia... Yet yeah, they're colonising. They are colonising this place, as is the French. Oi, oi, oi. No, no, and no. You are not allowed...
I haven't got any form of troops over here either, so you know, well, any form of boats rather. So the navy is going to have to be rebuilt, but the losses are actually quite in our favour. Can I make him release any nations? That's something I want to wonder as well. Can I? Let's find out. Fun, yeah, nothing that valuable. I could make him return course to Ethiopia. Treaties and your treaties with your ally rum. He decept that, but I don't want that just yet. Some extra manpower it doesn't really matter because we're not even that harmed. Oh boy, you have made a bad choice. Help him. Let's help you. Egyptian noble rebels are everywhere. Come on, get there, get there, get there. Lithuania, if you retreat from that, I will kill you as well. Because with that, I can utterly demolish him with my leader there. And the fact that I have a bit... Yeah, he retreated. As expected. Yeah, with whatever remains at this point, he's, he's not... He's just a shadow of his former self. This place has to call faster. Come on. At least April is only... Wait is only the fourth month so it should be manageable is he he's really going for it is he he's stupid yeah you're not winning that mate you're just not he's wasting more troops well we we won the siege of Dana Let's just deal with you before you get out. Actually, I don't have to, because, yes, that's actually quite useful. So, anyway, it looks like I'm going to win quite substantially. Very substantially. In this war. For, it looks like Egypt is going to fall apart. Or has the potential to after this, though all the rebels have already triggered. But it looks like after this war, with such colossal effects on them, I doubt Egypt will recover anytime soon after this. There's actually a very decent chance, in my opinion, that Egypt might actually go into a downward spiral. And what's going on here? Portuguese conquest of La Mancha, you are not winning that. Because La Mancha's in Iberia. Or maybe he will win it because he's, you know special and for the matter four months and then I will be pretty much good yeah I have to do it soon though very soon what else can I do can I fuck him up anymore ducats yeah, they're not really worth anything there. Because I have so many of them anyway. War reps. Thou help, him, thou help prevent him from rebuilding. That's actually quite useful. So, that's the deal then. Once this is called, I am definitely pushing that peace deal on him. He just got hammered. Yeah, that's not happening. And what else is there? Well, that's going to push him back a bit in terms of time, really, with everything else, because he, he is he's broken. Let's get a bit of Diplo power, I guess. How much would this cost? 800... Ooh, that's going to last quite a bit of time. Yeah, that's going to require a fair bit of old time to do so this is pretty much almost done 26 so let's get this up he will accept that let's send it on the 26th
Now, this is going to be a massive hotspot for rebellions. Massive hotspot. So, troops come back to like Dolkadir and that. It's a massive gain, really, for me. So, using the fifth spot before, right? God, I didn't even select it. I accidentally sent you. So, that pushed him down. Is he still fifth? Nope, he's gone from fifth to seven. If he's below 600 development, uh, 700 development there. Pretty damn hard hit, if you ask me. Now, what places? Yeah, some of the expensive ones first. Antioch, I will call first. And that's the most long winded one as well in terms of time it will take. So let's start converting all the others and hope we can digest this meal of ours. Any of the places I forgot? These ones are not moving and one of them is here. Okay, you have to get up here as well. So with a massive gain in land for us effectively it's very, very good for us overall, since it's pissed off the entire Middle East, but let's be honest, Egypt is an absolute wreck of a nation now. And I can actually increase my ram power further because of the fact we've unlocked this. And this should increase our manpower to quite absurd levels. And I should be able to afford them everywhere, in effect, so Wherever I can build them, I will. Or any place that has had a former building of the type in the area, will be having one now. Yeah, look at some of these places giving like a thousand plus manpower from just, you know, the upgrade. Very hefty amounts. These places had the, the things anyway, and I'm not going to demolish them, so... I could build them at my subjects as well, which would help with liberty desire, I imagine. So I think I can actually go up to speed 5 as well. And now it's time to start build... Oh god, I've actually hit a lowish amount of money. Because these are pretty expensive. Can I afford all of these? By looks, no. But is that really all that bad? So yeah, I've got a lot of manpower buildings going up. And excuse me if you heard that. Yeah, they're threatening my trade. They're in the new world. There's no chance that's happening. And well, let's see. So, with all of this... Oh boy, look at that. Just devouring the land. I'll be able to core it all pretty nicely as well, so... Hey, looks like we're pretty damn good off. And better yet, there's the fact that southern Syria should definitely be within our reach. And I mean all of it. And if that much is in our reach, well, imagine what's going to happen to whatever is in the next war, considering Egypt's current position. And the fact that all of the nations he had allied have just fallen apart. Yes, I do feel we are quite well off to uh, smash up the Middle East now. Continue our rampage into Egypt. Hungary likes us a bit more. So, yeah, this is my big interest now. In 15 years, we're going to be going for it again. And 
and in all honesty, it's put us in a better position to just really deal with whatever comes our way, because once this is like all secured, like all of this here, that will put us in a position where we're pretty safe from the east. Like if any uber empire rises over here, it has to go through a it's relatively wide front, but the fact is it can be managed quite competently, I imagine, even by me. So either way, I'm gonna end the episode here. Thank you for watching, and I shall see you next time, where we will be trying to, well, we'll try and speed through the peace for years and get ready for our next big old war with Egypt, who's pretty much alone and utterly shattered after that recent war. And a new institution is yet to spawn. And the institution, just before I end the episode, to check is global trade. So, I'm not sure if it'll spawn in us. Well, it's unlikely to spawn in us. We do have trade ideas, but I think you need a colonial nation for it to spawn. But on the bright side, it should be quite easy to grab, considering a lot of things related to our area and our buildings and whatnot. So, either way, thank you for watching, and I shall see you next time. Bye for now.